Hey there. I hope you're sore from yesterday's workout. I hope you worked hard. You may even be sore still from Monday's workout. All depending on uh, where your experience level is and how hard you actually trained. So before you do anything, make sure you go out and do your cardio now. Again, around 10 to 15 minutes, keep it intense. When I say intense, remember that you're able to carry on a conversation whilst you're doing it. So not so hard that you're working your heart and lungs to an extent where you're not burning fat. So if you're going for a walk, make sure it's a power walk, not a run, okay? So we cleared out our cupboards on Tuesday. Today we need to fill them with good nutritious foods. Before you go shopping is one thing that I want you to do. I want you to eat a meal. By eating a meal and going shopping on a full stomach, you're less likely to maybe crave or pick up something that you shouldn't be eating and that's not part of this plan. So have a meal, go shopping, and what we're gonna do is start with perimeter shopping. What do I mean by perimeter shopping? What I mean is go around the outside of the supermarket and this is where generally a lot of your best foods for your transformation are going to be situated. They're not going to be so processed. Processed I mean in a way of like TV dinners or mac and cheese. Those sort of foods are going to have a lot of toxins in there, a lot of ingredients that your body isn't really going to recognize. So if your body can't recognize them, how is it going to burn them off? It probably isn't. Also, those foods are loaded with saturated fat and a lot of sodium. So it's something that you definitely want to avoid whilst on this challenge. So to learn a little bit more about perimeter shopping, follow this link here, and Marika has a video which actually takes you around the outside of the supermarket and shows you what kind of foods that you need to be shopping for. I also have an article on the Transformation Super feature that has a shopping list on there that you can print out and take to the supermarket so you know exactly what sort of foods that you should be eating. And this ranges from our good fats, our lean cuts of protein, our slow um, glycemic carbohydrates, and good low fat condiments as well. The specific types of proteins that you need to be shopping for are egg whites, lean cuts of steak, sirloin steak is a good, good option, um, poultry, so chicken and turkey. You can also go for ground beef, make sure that's like 7% fat or less. And also ground turkey is a good option and a great replacement for ground beef if you didn't want to eat that. Um, next on that protein list would be fish. Now you can go for several options, pretty much any fish out there you can eat. So uh, whether it's cod, uh, tuna, salmon, and that can be tin tuna by the way, tin salmon as well, as well as the fresh. Uh, orange ruffy, um, halibut, pretty much any fish is good to have on this diet too. Also on your shopping list are the carbohydrates. Now the carbohydrates you need to be looking for um, are like oatmeal, great for breakfast time, uh, brown rice, wholemeal pasta, um, you can also go for potatoes, sweet potatoes, yams, great carbohydrate options. So why do we shop for these options versus the other options that are out there? like the white rice, the, the white pasta, uh, your cereals, your Snickers, candy bar, the white bread. The reason being is that the wholemeal options are a lot slower digesting and are lower on a glycemic index. What that means is as these go into your bloodstream, they don't overload into your fat stores as fast as your other options. So if you're going for your white starchy flours and if you're going for your candy bars and your cookies, these are going to convert into sugars very quickly and you're going to get fat quickly also. So now you know what good carbohydrates you need to be shopping for, the next thing on your list is fats, healthy fats. So what are these good fats? You've got um, olive oil, flaxseed oil, unsalted peanuts, all natural peanut butter and avocados. These healthy fats are going to promote functionality to your brain. To make your foods more tasty, you can add some condiments to those foods. So um, you want to go for the low fat, low sugar options, so you can go for um, balsamic vinegar, uh, fat free Italian dressing, fat free uh, French dressing, you can also go for low sodium sauce, and uh, salsa sauces are also good as well. Going for a tomato based sauce that's low in fat, low in sugar, is a good option uh, to put on your foods and they taste great once you add them to them. So combining your fats your proteins, your carbohydrates, and your condiments, 
will make this diet that much more easier and you'll have less cravings. So now we've cleared out the cupboards, we've been perimeter shopping, the next tip which will come next Tuesday, which won't be a training day, you'll only be doing your cardio, will all be based on preparing your foods. So come back to Mo, which will be our hardest training session of the week. That'll involve legs, shoulders, and abs. So make sure that you get your food down here, get your cardio in in the morning, and I'll see you in the gym for legs.